Hello and welcome back to Wireman's Whimsy. We are going to the next alternate card uh, from the Paper Pumpkin Kit for February 2022 called Safari Celebrations. So this one I have used elements from the kit um, and that's pretty much it other than my basic white uh, portrait opening card base. So what I did is I took uh, the card bases from the kit and they're double, they were front and back. So I had lots of real estate to play with and I trimmed it down and I cut the strips, uh, a quarter inch each. And first I cut everything to four inches. I cut the, the card down to four inches and then I did quarter inch cuts from all of the card bases. And then I took the, one of the envelopes and I cut it down to five and a quarter by four. And I liked this one because it suggests motion. And I love, love this um, elephant on roller skates. Um, so I wanted kind of the movement elements on this one. So I will go ahead and put this together. It's super simple. And now you may ask why I used the yellow or the bumblebee uh, card base when I'm using the bumblebee um, background. Um, and it does show up as almost a negative space, just a nice, quiet, resting space on this really busy background. So that's why I went ahead and did that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to adhere this to the card base. And then I'm simply going to put a couple of strips of adhesive onto this card front and start layering up the pieces. So we're just going to do that. And then I'm going to put a couple of strips of adhesive along here. And then I'm simply going to start laying the pieces on. So uh, you can do them evenly or you can do them a bit um, zigzaggy uh, at the top and bottom. So I am just layering these on right next to each other however I like um, but I am doing them kind of in color order so that there is a pattern to the colors that I'm using and because I'm doing quarter I did quarter inch cuts I shouldn't have a a weird gap at the other end so let's just see how this works out and see if I did it correctly. So let's just keep building this. And thank you to everybody who was commenting on these alternate ideas and on the kits themselves. Mia, I appreciate your feedback on the videos and all of that. It is, um, it's a lot of fun. This, this kit this month is a huge amount of fun. Um, with the different elements in the kit and the um, the die cuts themselves and that it just it they just make you smile and that you know if you're bringing happiness and finding happiness in what you're doing that is huge so I've got three more strips to put down and I'm just going to put these in and I might actually uh, no, I'm going to be able to put the last one in, but I am going to have to add just a little bit of adhesive. And I'm just going to pop the adhesive right on the back of this piece here. So just a couple of runs of adhesive. And if you get adhesive over the edge, you can just kind of roll it into the back like that. And then I'm going to put this piece in. So I am a little narrow on this side. I could have started just a little bit closer on this side, but it's not too bad. And that's all adhered down. So I'm going to take dimensionals and I'm going to pop some dimensionals on the elephant. Like I say, I just love this elephant. It just, it is so cute. And I'm just going to pop it down like that. And then I used the Let's Celebrate stamp from the stamp set that came with the kit, along with Soft Succulent, and stamped it on one of the banners from the kit. And I'm just going to put 
dimensionals on the back. That one came out a little goofy. That's okay. And like that. And you can put it over straight. I don't want to cover up the tail uh, on the elephant, so I'm going to put it on at an angle, just like that. And there is our card all finished. So thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more alternate ideas.